Shalawan, it's Brother Mazal. Sitting with the Brother Tazian. Not to do a quick little uh, lesson, you know, uh, before we open up, we give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahusha, Ba'ashem, Rakakurash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Little Stone and Rule Well. Peace and salutations. Yahakim out here that's laboring in the truth, the truth and sincerity. All right. And here, we're going to uh, open up now with this uh, lesson. This topic is basically going to be about how, like, uh, uh, the, uh, these, uh, basically about the separation from the wicked and the, um, and the righteous, man. Okay. Go ahead, brother. Okay, and this is uh, First Peter chapter 4, and I'm going to start at, I'm going to start at the top, man. It says, for as much then as Mashiach hath suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. And you know, the, uh, one of our brothers, uh, Shakaria, he got a saying that says, if you're not feeding, the, if you're not, if you feed, if you're not starving the flesh, you're feeding it, man. You know, that's, that's what you're doing. If you're not starving, you're feeding it. Verse 2, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men, but to the will of the power. Right. Verse, verse 3, for the time past of our life. Salakia, so like brother, could you read that one verse again? That, okay. was, that was beautiful. Uh, First Peter's four and two, mm -hmm. that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lusts of men. Right, because once you once you are uh, uh, quickened in the spirit, your how about you? You get quickened in the spirit, your, your eyes are open. You're, you're awake now. You're not. You know, uh, no more enslaved to this flesh. You know, the scriptures say. Um, I'm gonna quote it. Um, uh, 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 the, the truth should set you free, man. You know, so when you find the truth, you you are now out of bondage. You are, you're out of the bondage of this flesh. You're out of the bondage of this world. This, which is this uh, wicked beast system. You're, you're out of that now. You know, you're free from that. And, and now you, you now you um subject to the uh, the will of the heavenly Father. Go ahead. God. It says, but to the will of the power. Mm -hmm. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust. Right, and that's what our people are right now. They're up in the will of the Gentiles. They're up under the rule of E. You know, they're, they're, um, they're um, drunk off the uh, philosophies of this wicked world, man. You know? Our people are, are drunk, so drunk, man. You you know the truth. You can slap them on, on in the face with it, man, and, and 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 they won't wake up. You know, go ahead. Okay. It says, uh, "The will of the Gentiles when we walk in lasciviousness, mm -hmm. lust, access of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatries." Wherein they think it strange that ye run with them, Salakia, verse 4. Wherein they think it strange that ye run not with them to the same assets of right, speaking right. evil of you. Right. Just because you don't you don't agree with them with the philosophies of this wicked world, man. Even the the, uh, the different um, uh, uh, philosophies, because you're completely against it, something is wrong with you. They call you an evil ass nigga. You know, and the Lord, uh, you're going to go to hell or, you know, uh, crazy, that nigga crazy, you know, because you believe in, cause you believe in the true doctrine, because you're sober, you know, because you don't eat pork with shrimp. They be like, what's wrong with that nigga? What's wrong with pet? What's wrong with pork? What's wrong with shrimp? You know, something's wrong with you now, you know? Is that it on that, brother? Kind of good. This is, uh... Isaiah chapter 5. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to start at uh, I'm going to start at 19. That's 
I'm gonna start at twenty. Right, let's start at the point. It says, uh, "Woe to them that call evil good mm-hmm. and good evil. Right. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. Mm. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter." So that's the the brother was going into. You know these people, they talking evil of you because you're not in the same uh, manner of right that they, that the assets of right they, and they, like I said, the banquetings, you know, all these holiday holidays they celebrate, that ain't got nothing to do with the most high man. You know, oh you don't celebrate Christmas, oh you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, oh you don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Hey, that's that's a that's a lot of the ways that men can't get with a woman. On this side, man, men of the Lord, because you know people is indoctrinated in this world, man. Yeah, uh, because they just, the gifts destroyed the heart, like the scripture saying, meaning the, the, yeah, the gifts destroyed the mind. You know, like a woman, like the brother saying, so like you, you know, to add on what he said, basically, uh, like a, a woman, you get with a woman, she she celebrates all these holidays, like Christmas and Valentine's Day, Swedish Day. You know, you 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 don't celebrate those days. You know, so you got to supplant to even get her. You know what I'm saying? I ain't saying you're supposed to celebrate those days. But because you don't celebrate these days, nine times out of the ten, she's not going to want to deal with you, man. Because she's going to think something is wrong with your ass. She, You know, she's like, nah, nah, I, nah, I'm good. I ain't going to talk to this guy. You know, I'm not going to deal with him. She's not going to deal with you because you a man of the Lord, man. And hey, that's that's what our Lord, you know, he what he was preparing us for in the scriptures, man. You know, he prepared us for all of those things, man. He told us, man, look, uh, in the in book of Matthew uh, chapter 10, he said, I come not to bring peace upon earth, but I come with a sword, you know, and that sword is that separation from that from the wicked and the righteous. And that sword is basically uh, his word, man. It's the word. And you say in the book of Hebrews 4 and 12, the, the, uh, the word of the Most High is a, a, two-head, a two-edged sword. So we preach it in the highways and the byways, the truth. You know, only the true men, you know, or, or some men, I should say, because I ain't going to say it's true because everybody in their faith ain't true. You know, they gonna, you know but, but mainly, that's part of that separation. That's part of that sifting. Only certain men going to wake up and come in and serve the Lord, and then everybody else going to get offended. They're going to be offended by this, by the truth, man. The truth hurt too bad for some people, man. Everybody gets cut when they first hear the word, man. Only it's two, it's two things going to, one or two things going to happen. Whether you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna get cut and you're going to come in and repent, you know, and turn your ways around, turn your way, your, your wicked ways around and serve the Lord. Or you're going to get offended. You're going to get offended by the words of the Heavenly Father, man. And, and, and reject the words of the Heavenly Father, man, because it hurt too much. And you're going to go back into the... You're going to be in the world, man. You're going to stay in the world, man. Stay, you're going to stay uh, in captivity. These people are, they are not made free, man. They, they are in captivity, enslaved by the... Uh, by the, uh, by the, uh, uh, the, beast, the beast system, man. <coughs> they, 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 they in slavery as far as, like, in the mind and in their spirit, believe in the philosophies of this world. They have not been made free yet, you know? They're still, they're still in captivity, man. Only the men of the Lord are quickened through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, and are awake and can see what's going on, man. The, the rest of the world can't, can't see, man. And that's the way the Lord made it, man. He made it that way, man. He made, he made it. Whereas only a certain man, a certain amount of men is gonna be saved, man, and women. It's gonna be women too, women and children. But it's only it's only a remnant of Israel that's gonna make it, man. Only the remnant gonna make it. Two thirds of our people, man, they're gonna get caught up with the rest of this world, man, because they follow the world, man. They choose to be enslaved in this world, man. They choose to stay stay in bondage, uh, mentally, spiritually, and physically, man. That's why they're gonna get destroyed with the with this world, man. They don't want the kingdom of heaven to come, man. These people, man, they, they love this, this wicked place, man. They glorify it, man. They love it so, man. They love to have it this way, man. Wicked, man. <laughs> you know? You got more to that, brother? Oh, I got something else. Oh, you got kind. This is, uh... 
Ramos, check the fair. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start a team. And it reads, they hate him, they rebuke it in the gate, and they abhor him that speak it upright. Mm-hmm. So it's going to the point again, man. Mm-hmm. You know, we they, they look at us and they, they speak evil of us because we telling them the righteous things to do. Because we're not allowing them to uh, get away with the sins of their flesh, man. We're putting it in their face. That's what you have with Shot was doing when he was walking the earth. He said, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to pull the scripture up, man. You know? Because he's, uh, matter of fact, this is a. Uh, Because they was trying to do things and they was trying to make it seem as though they didn't have no acknowledgement of what they was doing. You know, the wickedness they was doing, man. But the Lord said, like, had he not came, you know what I'm saying, then uh, then they would have kept, they wouldn't have, they would have had a covering for their sin, man. Had he not came, then they wouldn't have had a cloak. They, yep, they, there you go, yep. cloak. Water. You know, the water. You know, it's funny, man, you know, because that's what the Lord told us to do. He said, go out and he said, uh, he said, this, he said, uh, sound, a, sound off like a trumpet and, and tell my people of their transgressions. And he's just like, he said, spare not. Basically, you know, you're not supposed to have like, uh, uh, you're not supposed to be sparing their feelings. You got to go out there and tell them what the Lord said, man, because our Lord told us to tell them what, uh, what to uh, tell them the truth, man. And these people gonna, they get offended, you know, quickly, quickly by this word because it be cutting them, you know. People don't like to just look at themselves, man, humble down and, and just look at themselves like, you know, hey, you know, it's the truth, man. You know, you being wicked, you know. But, you know, Jake so drunk, they're like, no, nah, I, you know, I, you know, he, you got uh, Jesus is love, you know, God is love, you know. That's that's what they want to hear. They want to hear smooth words, smooth things, man. That's all Jake want to hear, man. They don't want to hear nothing that's going to uh, correct Cloak. them. You know? It's C-L-O-A-K or something like that. Yeah, that's what I put, but it's not, you know. It's not coming up. Nope. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, hey, this way it's coming. St. John 15 and 22. St. John. Yep, uh, 15 and 22. Let me get it for you. This is um, St. John 15 and 22. He says, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had no it's like it. They had not had sin. So basically if he hadn't came, they wouldn't have not had sin. Mm -hmm. See, he says, but now they have no cloak for their sin. And basically when you go into that word cloak, that's Strong's G 43 uh 92. A pretext reason. Um uh, alleged pre reason. It's like it. yeah, alleged reason. Uh Pretended calls show on the color as though they would uh, would do something and pre uh, pretense um, of obscene, 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 obscene ability, Salakia. So, Ostensibility. Ostensibly, yeah, kind. He says, from a compound of an outward showing that is pretext cloak pretense show so basically it said uh it said uh alleged reason man so they would have had an excuse like oh i didn't know blah say blah i couldn't do this and that or this was off or this that and the third which is why when the lord got, came on the scene he, he had to at first acknowledge like listen i'm not coming to destroy the prophets of old you know, or, or to tell you not to do the laws. 
all, all he said, I came to fulfill. Then he had to uh, uh, explain to you what he meant by that. Like, okay, yeah, you have heard that, uh, uh, you know, if a, if, a, if a man put a, in the old times, if a man put away his woman, you know what I'm saying? That was, that was through the law. But he said, hey, but it wasn't always so. He said, hey, the Lord only made that covenant with uh, Moses for y'all because he knew, like, you know what I'm saying, y'all was going to do it. So basically, you know, it was the Lord trying to cover you. You know what I mean? And, and, and what happened was people started to become um, adulterous, man. They was just putting their wives away. And then they was going and laying with all these different wives. And everybody kept putting their wives away. And basically, before you knew it, everybody was laying with each other's wives, man. And he was letting it be known. Like, hey, no, nah, that's adultery. You know, they she's supposed to go back to her husband. It, it, it was never supposed to be that way, man. You know? Uh, or, or or basically, uh, even if you look at a, you know, you lust within your man because, you know, he was just giving you the full extent of the law, man. How far past it went? Oh no, you don't have it because you know certain men probably will entertain the thought of laying with another man's woman, and, and, and they was thinking to themselves, oh, I'm not sinning because you know what I'm saying. I ain't touch it. You know what I'm saying. But the Lord was like, no. <laughs> If you if you lusted over her in your heart, which is your man, hey, you you've committed adultery, you know, things of that sort, man. So the Lord came to to put it out there on them, like, hey, and then too, he also was because they was trying to stone a woman for the same exact stuff they was doing, man. That's why the Lord came out. He he came out here to get along the way that everybody would be able to understand it, man. That's why when the man asked him, what is the two greatest laws? He says, what is the greatest law? He gave him two, you know, because the two, the two best, the two, the, two, uh, the two best laws, it, it, the two, the number one, it's like you, the, uh, the number, the number one and number two laws, basically. Yeah, the greatest laws, man, because yeah. he said on, upon these two laws, hang, hang all the law, man. You know, because if you love the most time, you're going to do what he tell you to do. And then two. You're not going to kill, rob, steal, you know what I'm saying, or, 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 or commit adultery against a brother, you know what I'm saying, because the scripture <laughs> says what? That you love your neighbors, you will love yourself. You love your brothers, you will love yourself. So in, that, in them laws, hang, hang um, peace, you know, hangs the utopia of, of Israel, man, all right, which is paradise, you know. But, uh, yeah, man, they hate them. They rebuke it in the gate because people want to stay the way they are, man. They don't want to do anything to work on themselves. The brother was going into, man. Some people going to hear it and they're going to turn their ear from it. And some people going to hear it and they're going to meditate on it, man. And think on themselves, like, what am I doing that's wrong? You know, and pray on it, man. Yeah, and that's the Lord. Like, like they say, um, if you get Romans 11 and um, 7. Because that's the whole reason why we out here doing this work, man. We out here not for the world, man. Like the Lord said, he said, I come not to bring peace on earth, but a sword. And we're doing the same thing, you know, because uh, we're preaching the words of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. We ain't come, we we not out here to uh, uh, save this world, man. You know, uh, 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 basically, we just out here to gather up the election by preaching the word, man. That's it. It's part of the sifting process, man. And at the same time, we're being tested too. You know? We we expendable. The Lord can say, you know, okay, you did your part, now I'm done with you. And how you go back in the world, man. Bug you out. Uh -huh. You know? But go ahead, read that, Baba Kusha. This is um, Romans 11 and 7, mm -hmm. and it reads, What then, Israel, hath, <coughs> what then, Israel, mm -hmm. hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, right. and the rest were blinded. Right. Israel ain't gonna find that, and that's talking about the whole nation of Israel, man. Two thirds of our people ain't gonna find what they looking what they looking for, which is truth. You know, they're not gonna find it. The truth is right in their face. They they got blinded. The Lord blinded them, man. And he and he, and he made them um, deaf to 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 his his voice, man. They not they not gonna be able to hear uh, the Lord. They're not gonna be able to receive the truth, man. Because the Lord set it up that way, man. You know, he said, but uh, the election have obtained it. The election going here because they got the ears to hear. They got the eyes to see because the Lord gave that to them, man. Okay. Read that, uh, uh, the next verse, Baba Kusha. 
Khan, verse 8, and it says, According as it is written, mm -hmm. the power hath given them the spirit of slumber. See, the power hath gave them the spirit of slumber, man. You know, so when they see us out there teaching, man, and they see that we holding up the signs, and they see the uh, the sign, the uh, the uh, the twelve tribe sign, and all that, they just gonna keep on going by, man. We we right there. The truth is right there in front of them. They not even gonna come and inquire, cause the Lord <coughs> set it up that way. Go ahead. Come. <laughs> it says eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear. I mean, to this day, they gonna they gonna hear us preaching. Don't get me wrong. But they not going to, basically what that's saying is they not going to get it. They they not going to understand it, you know, to receive it, man. They not going to, they going to be like, it's going to be too far-fetched for them. They're going to be like, man, that shit crazy. Y'all, no, nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. White man, the devil, no, nah, you, no, nah, nah, man, hell no. Nah. The Lord died for everybody. He ain't just died for Israel. You know, they not going to be able to understand the mysteries of the kingdom, man. Because the Lord didn't give it to them to get it, you know. They 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 um they're um enslaved to the um uh, uh um philosophies of this world, man. The philosophies of this world is to do what you want to do. You're free to do what you want to do. You're free to um sin. You're free to um serve other gods. You're free to commit adultery. You're free to be a homosexual. You're free to be a liar, a murderer. You're free to do whatever the hell you want to do in this society, man. And that's what they that's what they uh um they they enslaved to that, man. That's why they not gonna, that's why they ain't gonna be able to uh, understand this or get it, man. They not really looking for a way out like that. They not they not really looking for a way out, man. That's why they gonna stay the way they are until destruction come. You got more to that, don't you? No, sir. It's more. You don't die. Uh, mm -hmm. This is uh verse nine. Mm -hmm. And David say it. Let their table be made a snare. Let their table be made a snare. You got all these people that go to these churches, man, thinking they in the right place. What's out? They thinking that's the right way to serve the Lord. Thinking that's the right place of salvation, you know. But that they, they tables have been made a snare, man. You know, the, the 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 philosophy it sound it sounds good, it sounds right, you know what I'm saying. But it's a trap, man. You know, it, it it's, it's actually a a, a a a trap. You're gonna get you're gonna get destroyed in that. Following those uh these uh these other philosophies, man. Go ahead. Okay. And he says, uh, uh, verse, man, it says, and David said, let their tables, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and, and recompense it to them. Right. It is, it is it's a stumbling block because you know what? The pastors in these churches, in these harlot houses, they're not teaching our people, uh, uh, the correct doctrine, man. You know, instead, he's he's being a stumbling block into them. You know, he's telling them that they can eat whatever they want to eat, man, as long as they pray over it, man. He's telling women in the churches that they can divorce their husbands. You know, but that's not accurate. That's not according to the scriptures, man. You're not that, now, you can't put your husband away, man. You can't eat what you want to eat, man. You know, they, they do err not knowing the scriptures, man. And they got these people, you know, um... <coughs> Uh, uh, um, stumbling, stumbling over the words to the heavenly Father, man. Got them, got them, um, doing wicked, man. Not teaching them the correct way, man. Is 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 that it on that? Verse ten. Mm -hmm. Let their eyes be darkened, mm -hmm. that they may not see, see and it, bow down their back always. Right. See. Their eyes have been darkened, man, so they can't see, man. That's why they the way they are. That's why they want to hear the truth. They reject it. You know? They ain't, they ain't going to be able to um, understand it or get it, man. Because the Lord don't want them to get it. He don't want them to get it until destruction has come. And it says that in the book of Isaiah 6, uh, chapter 6, uh, verse... Nah. Was it 9? Could you get it, Baba Kusha? And if you don't have anything, we can close up on that. No, go straight to the point. You can go straight to the point, huh? Because we all basically read that. Okay, this is um, Isaiah 6. Mm -hmm. Started up. Verse 10. Huh, yeah. This is uh, make the heart of this people fat, make their, make their ears heavy. 
-hmm. and shut their eyes lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Then verse 11, then said I, Lord, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabited right. and the houses without man and the land be utterly desolate. And that's 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 when they're gonna find out, man, when it when in the kingdom. <laughs> they're gonna find out that they was wrong all that time, man. You know, and until that time when all everything is when this earth is basically destroyed, man. They're gonna be deaf and dumb, man, until that time, man. With that man, call Halloyim, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, uh Bashem Kakwadash, Double Honor to our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and salutations to you, Akiyam out here that's laboring in his truth and truth and sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.